percent problems involve the use of equations known as the percentage formula. Let's take a look. These formulas have three variables, the base, the portion, and the rate. In business situations, two of the variables will be given and are the knowns. One of the variables will be the unknown. Once the variables have been properly identified, the equations are simple to solve. The variables have the following characteristics which should be used to help identify them. The base is the number that represents 100% or the whole thing. It's the starting point, the beginning, or the total value of something. The base is often preceded by the word of in a written statement of the situation because it's multiplied by the rate. The portion is the number that represents the part of the base. The portion is always the same in terms of the base. For example, if the base is dollars, the portion is dollars. If the base is people, the portion is people. If the base is production units, the portion will be productive units. The portion is often called a unique characteristic that is being measured or compared with the base. For example, if the base is the total number of cars in a parking lot, the portion could be part of the total of the cars that are convertibles, the unique characteristic. The rate is easily identified. It's the number with the percentage sign or the word percent. It defines what the portion is of the base. If the rate is less than 100%, the portion is less than the base. If the rate is 100%, the portion is equal to the base. And if the rate is more than 100%, the portion is greater than the base. The following percentage formulas are used to solve percent problems. Portion equals rate times base, or P equals R times B. Rate equals portion over base, or R equals P over B. And base equals portion over rate, or B equals P over R. Here are the steps to solving percentage problems. Step 1. Identify the two knowns and the unknown. Step 2. Choose the formula that solves for the unknown. Step 3. Solve the equation by substituting the known values for the letters in the formula. Here's a hint. By remembering one basic formula, P equals R times B, you can devise the other two by using your knowledge of solving equations. Because multiplication is indicated, we isolate the known by performing the inverse or opposite operation division. Don't confuse the word percentage with the percent or rate. The percentage means the portion, not the rate. Another method for remembering the percentage formulas is using the magic triangle. It's my preferred method. The triangle is divided into three sections representing the portion, rate, and base. By circling the letter in the percentage triangle that corresponds to the unknown of the problem, the triangle will magically reveal the correct formula to use. Let's take portion as an example. P equals R times B. You see it right there in the triangle. And so on for each of the other formulas.